What's up, YouTube? How's it going? This is Brian at GP Riding Customs. Welcome to another episode of Teach It Tuesday. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about designing a sub enclosure. I got to build a sub enclosure today. It's going in a 2017 GMC Denali. It's been lifted up. It's on big wheels and tires. It's a dually. It looks really cool. It's a good customer of ours, and he wants he wants some bang put in his truck. So. What he had in there previously wasn't good enough for him, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do an under the seat box, under the rear seat box, firing up two 13 TW5 JL Wolfers. Now, designing a sub enclosure is actually pretty fun sometimes, but in this instance, it's not so fun because we're limited to the amount of space that we have since it is going underneath the seat. So what we're going, to, what I'm going to try to do is work with what I got, use some techniques that. Uh, already shown y'all examples of and maybe add a couple new techniques uh, to try to get a little bit of design in this like a, once again like I said this design is pretty much limited because it's going under the rear seat of this pickup truck so basically I'm just going to walk you through the process of building this sub enclosure and add some techniques that I've already used and maybe a couple extra ones so we'll go from there All right, so what we got here, this is the base of the box. And as you can see, it's in three different pieces. The reason it's in three different pieces is because the center of the truck, there's a transmission tunnel. So it sticks up a little bit higher than the rest of the floor. So what I've done is I've measured an inch back on each side. I got them all marked driver, passenger, and center. So I've measured an inch back on the passenger and the driver's side. So what I'll do is I'll take the center one just like that and stick it on there and I'll glue it and nail it down to each one of them and that the space will allow for my transmission tunnel to hump for that. This is my template. It's a number three half circle template uh, for mobile solutions. It'll be used for the corner of the box. So basically I'll put that on the front, on the edge to edge, mark it, cut it off and route it. And that matches the curvature of the seat. So that's gonna give the box a nice round curve for the seat. Sorry. So we're going to go from there.
as you can see, we've gotten a little further on the box now. And to show you why I did the rabbit on those edges of those pieces of wood, is so I can lay the material in the box, staple it to the box, and I have very minimal material to have to grind off of the box after it's been fiberglass. So now fiberglass is set up, and all I gotta do is just do some body work over that corner, fill in where it's low, and the basic, the basic part of the box will be done. So now I'm working on the design that goes on top of the box. So the speakers will sit on top of the box and I wanna do a design on top of the box. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna carpet the top and vinyl all the way around the box. And I'm gonna incorporate some of that raised vinyl that I showed a few episodes ago. I'm gonna do some raised vinyl on here. Uh, just do a raised piece underneath the carpet which will help show the design of the box. So now that I got the corners bondoed, bondoed up, smoothed out, I got this flat piece of wood right here, and it's on the sitting on the top side of the box. I got two, I got a double sided tape to it, and I'm just going to route it out, plus trim it to the box uh, to make an exact top of the box, and then I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to reduce it down probably a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch, so that way I can bondo mold it to the top side of the box, pull it out wrap my vinyl all the way around the box and then over the top of the bondo mold that I did, tuck it in and then put carpet on the top side of the box. That way they, the box will have two different materials, carpet on the top and vinyl all the way around. And then I'll probably do some raised vinyl on the sides of the box and maybe a little bit on the front. So that's it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. As you can see, this, we're talking about design for a box. There's not much design that we could do for this box. It was underneath the seat of a GMC Denali. So for the little designs that I did do, I did two different materials, the vinyl and the carpet. So I used the bundle molding of a panel to separate my vinyl and my carpet. And then I used the raised vinyl on the both sides of it to show the words Denali on both sides. And I also did just a, just a little simple design in the middle and uh, just to kind of give it some, a little bit more depth because that, you can get lost in that carpet. So I just did that design just to give it a little bit more depth. So hopefully y'all like that. If you did, subscribe, like it, 
turn on the notifications so you know when we're going to do this because it's not on Tuesday today. So thank you for watching. See you next week.